Hey everyone, before we get into the video, or just anything, um, I know it's coming up to Christmas, and I know a lot of you may be spending this alone, playing Star Citizen, playing games, and just generally not going anywhere. If, you know, that doesn't bother you, that's, that's good. But if you know you need someone to talk to, or you want to hang out with someone, there's people in our Discord, there's people in all sorts of Discords for Star Citizen and gaming. Um, it also brings up the conversation of mental health as well. I never really touch on this because I have struggled with mental health in the past and you know I still have my times and my days um, but if you're ever feeling and you know this is pointed out men and women but you know men primarily do have a higher suicide rate and just issues but if you're a lady as well please listen um, you know if you feel like you can't talk to anyone or you're a burden to people don't feel like that don't don't feel like you're a burden. You're never a burden to someone. You know, it's, uh, the thing I take away from a lot of the suicide talks and like just general advice is that people would rather you be around than to mourn you and to sort of miss you. So don't think you're a burden to anyone. Just if you need to talk to someone, message anyone on Discord. If you can't find anyone to talk to, message me. Um, I, I'm always up to, to, to chat with someone, you know. It's... it's Better to you for you to talk to someone than to hold it into yourself, like hold it in and you know whatnot. I mean, I was going to try and make this simple, but it's just one of those genuine heart to heart moments, and that's why I try to create the content I do and put the relaxing music in there because at, yeah, at the end of the day, someone might be having a bad day, someone might need to relax, and that's why I create the content I do, and that's why I'm trying to start podcasts because I know people are really enjoying that sort of stuff. So. Have a Merry Christmas. If I don't see you before then, I hope you have a great day. I'm not going to be online. I'm going to be spending it with my mum and my dad and my family. So I hope you have a great Christmas. Um, I hope you have a great New Year. I'll see you before then. What's up, everyone? What is up, chickies? It is Baron here. Hope you enjoyed that little message there. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about how the Polaris is on the roadmap. Yes, so Morio Kiri brought this to my attention. I did see this discussion in the morning, but I was just very busy. So, the RSI Polaris is on the roadmap, but as you can see, what it says is un encompasses all tasks, including design, art, audio, and tech required for the implementation of the RSI Polaris Corvette into the PU. Now, I don't know what this means exactly, since, you know, this is in Squadron 42 as well, so this has to be done at one point or another i guess and you know i don't know why they were really putting off the production of this ship when it is going to be needed in squadron 42 and in the pu now we do know for a fact that you know it's been reconcepted uh john crew did sail a while ago and i do keep referencing this that you know um it, it was to be scheduled now 11 weeks isn't a whole lot of time for a Polaris, I guess, being of a ship this size, you know, if you look at the Banu Merchantman, have a look at and take the reference, I don't know why it does that, reference how long it's really going to take for the Banu Merchantman to be, like, um, to be, well, made, I guess, 97 weeks. So, as we know, 97 weeks, um, but, that's weird that it ends there. Um, so, as we know, you know, it says here, building, balancing, and implementing the Merchantman, the Banu made trading vessel into the game. Now, I think they've started to personalize these little descriptions a little bit. So, I find it funny that a lot of these ships do have this said, oh, that's going to annoy me, um, you know, this new description here. And I don't know what ex it means exactly. It does say 11 weeks, and yes, it is the European Vehicle Content Team. Now, that doesn't really mean that it is in production right now, as it is going from the start of April or just uh, late March into mid-June. Now, this could be a planning phase. It could be sort of the concept phase where they're getting everything sort of figured out, where they're going to sort of have an attack plan, I would say anyway. I would love to know what they're actually... Um, doing within this phase here for the 11 weeks. I don't think I'm ever going to get an answer from a developer on the Spectrum forums because, you know, it, everyone just asks about ships and the Polaris. But I would just, you know, the encompass word there encompasses all tasks. I didn't really know what that word meant, but, uh, you know, it's sort of when stuff comes together, I still don't really know what it means because, you know, it's a verb. There was a verb meaning and I was like, what the hell? I don't care about this. But the Polaris... I don't, I wouldn't expect this to be without 
next year. It could be, I don't know. But I would expect it to come after Pyro, since, you know, it is a Squadron 42 ship. So we may not actually see it until Squadron 42 hits, and then we get those, you know, capital ships and whatnot. Now, saying that, it's funny that they've put it into production now and they've started to work on it. Is this meaning that, you know, Squadron 42 is moving on and it's starting to progress a little bit more. I don't know, but it's a good thing that the Polaris is actually getting some sort of love. I would like for the Perseus to get reconcepted as well and that to actually be put into production. There's a lot of Perseus owners out there, but this just little baby steps, right? Now, at the same time, we know that the Banu Merchantman took, you know, a little bit longer. It goes through little bits of phases here and there, and it does have issues with its production side of things. Now, there will be delays um, with the Polaris. You know, people could say that it would come at the end of 2023. I'd like to say maybe mid-year 2024, maybe end of 2024. Could be early. I don't know, but I'm just, you know, setting my expectations from previous knowledge, previous presumptions, and the way we've looked at it in the past. So, you know, there's not always a positive to these. There's not always, you know, really a negative, but you sort of just got to keep neutral minded. Think about when you think this ship might come out, because at the end of the day, these are big ships. These are going to take a long time, especially a ship like the Polaris as well. And I really want them to take their time with this. So let me know down in the comments what you all think about this in general, like how you think this is going to go, whether or not we're going to get it next year or the year after, because I just think that you know, at the end of the day, it is a ship that everyone has wanted and wanted to see. And I think this is the perfect opportunity to do that, sort of get people invested in it, give us a little bit of, um, you know, the production side of the ship as well. I mean, they don't really show us a lot. They do, you know, say they're open dev, but at the same time with something like this, I don't think they're really going to be um, like open dev about it. I mean, I know that may sound like it's, I don't know, I wouldn't say it's a horrible thing, but again, at the same time, I think they really need to be more transparent with us, and I know that's asking a lot, but I think that that just needs to take priority right now, and I know it's not always going to take priority, unfortunately, um, but yeah, I hope this is going to be something, and it does stretch out to be a lot longer, and they do show us the production side of this, so I hope you enjoyed this. I wouldn't expect it next year, really. Um, but yeah, let me know what you all think about this. And we'll see you in the verse. Bye-bye.